wasn't. Yep. As a joke, I was like getting hyped. Yep. And then it turns out the next card yep. was the fucking Dark Magician. Yeah. Like, like I, me I, before being hyped, I didn't even see it. I was just pre- like pretending to be hyped, and then the next one it turned out to be. And it was insane that we pulled it at the time because that was during COVID, and Yu-Gi-Oh cards were massively shorted during COVID. Like yeah, the fact that I even got up. those boxes was insane. That was insane. The fact I got those, the fact we got I it on camera, watch that video. everything about it, the fact we got it on camera, the fact we pulled it, like everything about it was just insane. I still cannot yeah. believe that happened. It's absolutely insane. That's why I want to keep it, because it's like, it's the last year I was in Ontario, and it was like, that was the last time we were in that shitty apartment together, I think. It was one of the last times we were in that apartment you were in, that legendary apartment, sorry. Yeah, that was still my favorite place. Yeah, same here. Honestly, I fucking that love place that place. was so chill. Right? So, that's, I don't know. Like, if it was any, if it was, if, if it was just a car we pulled one day, I would be like, yeah, whatever. But because it, it has, okay. you know what I mean? It has so many just things about it. Like, I got rid of all those other cards we pulled. Um, when you came here, I, I got rid of all those fucking cards. They're all gone. I sold them all. Well, let me ask you this. Let's say tomorrow the card's being sold for 15000 Well, I'd have to see. <laughs> well. <laughs> we'll think about it then, but it's not going to be that because Yu-Gi-Oh! prices yeah. went down. So, unfortunately, I, yeah. I, if but I want because I could have sold it ungraded back in then 2020 when we pulled it for 800 yeah. 800 Like That's what? fucking crazy. What the fuck? Like that's, but it, you've also probably spent eight hundred on Yu-Gi-Oh decks. Yeah, that's what I mean, right? So, but I, I but the thing is, all the cards I sold, I made over a thousand dollars before I left. I sold a bunch of cards to a card online card shop before I left and before I moved, and I made a thousand dollars. And that that was that's mostly wild. because of um, uh, what do you call it? Because of fucking COVID boom. So like I I yeah. and I also sold a whole bunch of cards to some random kid for like five hundred dollars, and I sold a bunch of cards recently. So like I've actually made money fucking pulling Yu Gi Oh cards somehow. I don't know how. I like I, I I bought this card. There was this card Upstart Goblin, and it was in this set that I bought a whole bunch of in twenty twenty, right? And again, it was short printed this set because of COVID. And mm-hmm. the card at the time was only worth a dollar, but recently in the most recent ban list, it went off. So now the car went five bu- uh, to like ten dollars or five dollars, whatever. So I sold mine. I sold all mine for five dollars each with three dollars shipping on eBay. So like, yeah. I, I made bank on the fucking, and I already sold a whole bunch of cards from that set before they got reprinted. So like, I sold this car for like I had three of this one car that was worth forty bucks. Sold all of them for forty dollars each, and I sold right. So like, I made I made serious bank on that fucking set. It was insane. And you never make money back on a set like that. But yeah, it's just yeah. Because it was unlimited, I just I just made bank. If I if I stocked up on that card, I'd be rich right now. And well, that's I w- the thing, like you know what you're doing and you know what you're looking for. Oh, no, a I lot got- of people don't know what the fuck they have. I got lucky. I got extremely lucky with all that. That was sheer. You lucky. did, but also your knowledge of what you have is yeah, and it's true. Is huge. It is my knowledge what I have. Most of my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff's gone now. I got rid of almost all of it. Uh, yeah, because think about all the fucking games you've bought and flipped. To oh, like yeah. triple the price. Oh yeah, but you know we don't talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Well, we went to. I'm Actually, recording. can you give me like five minutes? I'm recording. Well, yeah, go on. Oh, yeah. I'll be back in like five minutes. Okay. Sorry. It's all right.
back in there. One minute. I think it's fucking dog out. Yo. Ah. Ah. All right, you back? Yeah, I'm back. All right, so what were we talking about? Fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards and flipping them and that? No, well, what I was saying was, and I know you're recording, but like... Yeah, go ahead, I don't care. Uh, I'm going to say it. I'll go for it, I don't, <clears throat> I don't give a fuck. Yeah, because there is nothing wrong with making a smart investment, even if it is, like, quote-unquote, ripping people off. Like, they're selling it for a certain price, and you're buying it for the price they offered. Mm-hmm, yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. It's it's their fault for not knowing what they have. Yeah, that's right. So, I, just, I just don't like people to know in my community... Where I do it because people will fucking treat you differently because they know you do it. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, yeah. Right, so we're not going to say where I live, obviously, but, um, yeah. yeah. Because, like, yeah, I don't know. Just, like, before I mentioned doing that thing before, someone was like, oh, right? They're just kind of weird about it. And people are always like, oh, people do that, ruin the economy and all that. It's like, hey, first of all, I don't go but, above the fucking no. price of eBay. I go by price yeah. charging price, and I usually go lower than that because I can, unless I need to make money. If I need to make money, I'll go, I'll go the same price or a little bit higher depending on the game, I'll be honest. But most of the time, I, I stay lower because I don't I try to keep the prices down because prices are way too fucking high for video games right now. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! crashed. I fucking wish uh, video games crashed. It is unreal how much money they cost right now. Like, it's yeah. not even funny. Well, I always just remember the time when we were at... Uh, okay, well, a video game trading and buying store. You can say which one, it's fine. Entertainment Overload. Yep. And we were just like looking around, fucking around. I think it was in... Where was that? Hamilton. Is that like Hamilton, yeah. And we were just like looking through the DS games and you found a game that was on sale for 40 bucks, and you are like, dude... No, it was $2 and it was a $100 game. Yeah, you were like, this is like a $100 game. I'm like, yep. what the fuck? Like, yeah, nobody cause... knew that, but because you knew, you have the edge. Like they could have looked it up, but clearly they didn't. Yeah, because they looked like a dog shit game. <laughs> that's yeah, why. That's not your fault. Yeah, I know. You're oh, not. Know. You know the worst like... part was I was an idiot back then. I went back to them and sold it to them later for like half the price I could have got for it because I felt I bad. I remember that. What yeah. was I thinking? Which is, I know. Which but you know what? It was a good thing because I know them. Yeah. If I, if it wasn't them, I would have said fuck you, and I would have sold it and then told them. <laughs> Yeah, now, I would now I would have done that just to be an asshole, but um. But you know those stores like they're overcharging for everything. Overload doesn't. No, Overload's good, but most stores do. Yeah. Overload's one of the only ones that doesn't overcharge because she knows if you overcharge, she's like me. She'll overcharge the things that people are retarded for, but she won't overcharge yeah. on everything. She only overcharges yeah. on specific things, and that's because she has to. But yeah, yeah but it's like go on. I don't know. Just the whole thing about it ruining ruining the economy just. You don't know what the fuck we're talking about when I say that. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know. Because they act like people like me are driving prices up, of which we're not. Again, I'm trying to keep them down. Other people do, though. And that's yeah. the problem. It's like that, that thing that people say, where one person ruins it, they ruin it for everybody. And it's the same for this. Because there's, there's one guy who was doing it, and he wasn't even giving me reasonable offers. I was selling these yeah. Zelda games. He's like... Oh, I'll give you like 30% of what they're worth. That's pretty much what he was telling me, right? And I was like, yeah, not a chance, buddy. Fuck off. And of course you're not going to do that. No. But, but he's, he's being might, honest. He's and being honest. Their he, fault. he said, I'm going to resell them, though. That's what he's telling me. So I immediately knew he's going to rip me off. And he didn't even yeah. give me a fair price. And I said, if you want to do this, you got to give people fair prices. You can't. First of all, you don't tell them. Second of all, you don't fucking be like, oh, yeah, 30% of the price you're asking. Yeah, fuck off. Nobody's going to do that's, that. That's the thing. Like, Especially with Zelda games. With it's like that with any investment. Why would you, if you know what you're investing in, yeah. why would you want to buy high? Like yeah, exactly. You want to buy in low to make money. That's why you do. But when you someone's asking it. you, but when someone's selling it for that much, and you're just trying to rip them off, then you can fuck off because I'm not trying. I'm not here to uh, make a deal. I'm here to make money. I uh, agree do, with do, you. Do you get what I'm, I'm saying? Being, I 100% agree with you. I'm just being devil's advocate. Yeah. And saying that. They do that because people will buy them. Like, yep, I know they will. People will sell their. But you know what I hate? Worth two hundred bucks for thirty bucks to some guy who doesn't know what they're doing. But you know and what that's I hate? The buyer's fault. You know what I hate? Where I fucking live, everybody's like that. Every fucking thing yeah. I put on the market here, they always be like, "There." Some people will be like twenty percent of what I fucking want. 
Fuck off. Yeah. Like that I'm is not saying it's right. I'm just saying it, it happens. Yeah. You know, it, but it's horrible here, man. It, like back in Ontario when I lived there, people were reasonable when they gave me offers. Here it's not even fucking reasonable. Like they literally gave yeah. me twenty percent what the fucking game's worth. I have a game for hundred dollars. Oh good, twenty bucks for it. Yeah, fuck off. Like mm-hmm. when I say no low balls and no offers, I mean fuck off and give me what I want. Because I'm trying to make money on this. And people over yeah. here are just horrible. I hate selling people over here. It is a nightmare selling people over here. Everyone's a fucking Jew over here. It's absolutely brutal. You can't sell anything to anyone for a reasonable price. And they try and buy things up right away. So I got you got to be on their asses right away. It's, oh, it just sucks, man. It was way better in Ontario buying and reselling things. It's fucking brutal over here. Yeah, Every, there's, there's a bigger market. Yeah, there's a bigger market. And there's, and there's so many people over there that it's harder to find the deals. Where over here, there's such less people, it's easier to find them. <laughs> When there's yeah. like, right? Because like the other people that are looking for them are also going to find them pretty easily, right? So that's the problem as well. But like the people who lowball like that just piss me off. It's just like, there, there, there's a certain point where you got to lowball, where you're, you had to lowball, and there's a certain point where you're lowballing too much, and they were doing way too much, you guys. Like, yeah. it's, it just pisses you off, to be honest. It, yeah. It's so really I just looked on Kijiji in my area. Yeah. For example, I just did Pokemon Sapphire. This guy, he's selling Sapphire for. 85 bucks i could buy that and easily sell it for 110 sasha go lie down really 85 bucks I, uh, right like he's selling two of them he has pokemon gold for 100 pokemon sapphire he has two of them for 85 loose one Ruby right? for 85 loose fire red for 100 leaf green for he's two of them for 100 emerald for 125 yes people are selling it for 100 on ebay actually yeah you know. and that's canadian yeah, yeah. People are selling for a hundred on eBay, so yeah, you can definitely buy that and resell that. Yeah, there's only. But two. that's not that much, though. Is the thing you're not gonna, you're going to lose money to the eBay fees, so it's yeah, not really worth it. There's only two offers here for Sapphire. One worth a hundred. Yep. And he's offering eighty-five. Yep. So which one are you going to go for? Assuming they're both real, of course, because there's tons of fakes out there nowadays. You got to be really tested and authentic. Yeah, you have to. Open, you nowadays you have to fucking open the thing up because there's so many fakes out there. It's not even funny. It's such a pain in the ass buying Pokemon games nowadays. I'm so glad that I don't. Uh, I, that I in terms, I have all the Pokemon games I want because I I would not want to have to buy one nowadays. It's a fucking nightmare. Like you can't yeah. like, and it's so hard to tell which ones are fake, which ones are real. They gotten so good at at faking it. They, like the stickers look real now. You have to literally open it up and see the board. That's the only way. You have way. to bring your own Game Boy. No, that, that's not. Because they'll, they'll have a ROM on there. It will be the exact same ROM. But the problem is that the board is different, though. So you literally have to open the cartridge up and see if it has, it's the same board or not. It is such a yeah. pain in the ass nowadays. It's, it's but just awful. The, f- the fact there's only two of such a, a popular game. Yep. Like, it shows how everyone, fat, Like, this was one everyone, day ago, everyone and this was it. less than a day ago. Yep. And there's only two. Yep. Everybody wants it. That's why. Yeah. So, I, I don't, don't know. Everyone played Pokemon as a kid, so I fucking want it. Because it's like the most popular game ever. Like, growing up, how many people we know play Pokemon as a kid? Everybody. Everyone. They still do. Yep. And like, maybe like people like my brother who don't play Pokemon now played it as a kid. Like, for example, right? Yeah. Right? And apparently more, apparently more people play it now, which is hard to believe. But, yeah, apparently, yeah, it's just... It's insane. Game, like, honest to God, if 10, 15 years ago you fucking invested in GameCube and 60, like, in pretty much any Nintendo console, you'd be a fucking millionaire. It's it's unreal what the gaming market's become. It's just a joke. It's an absolute yeah. joke. Is the worst part about it. And like I said, what are you going to do with it? Just fucking collect dust. You know what I mean? It's just like, I love playing video games and all that, but it's just, there's a certain point where it's just, I don't know, too much. Yeah. I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, though. I don't really care at the end of the day, though. It's another thing, too, so... <laughs> yeah, like, if you have Earthbound, you're basically sitting on two grand right now. Yeah, exactly. Especially a complete in box. Ooh, what was yeah, that worth? Yeah, the complete price, which I feel like most people have. Like, they bought it with the box. Yeah. Uh, Especially if you're a collector. I don't know, because there's a lot of money in the box, is the thing. Like, it's a lot in the box. Uh, I know Kyle has it in the box. Does he actually? I think so. That's crazy. Or, uh, Kyle or Steve, one of them just spent, like, a... Fucking like recently when they didn't have it no this was a long time ago okay yeah so it's two thousand three hundred forty two dollars on uh price charting yeah so if you yeah if you fucking bought it back in the day you would like damn i would sell that instantly right now 
Yeah, well, you know what? That was only worth like 1500 10 years ago, I think. Let's see what the price charting. Uh, Sasha, get lost. Go and lie down. Yeah. I can't remember who bought it, but they definitely bought it when they did not have the money. But <laughs> that's what investing is sometimes. Yeah, so in 2008, it was worth $62. 2012 was worth 156 2018 is only worth 174 then it fucking jumped up in 2022. Like, that's the pandemic. Yeah, the pandemic and yeah, the pandemic went. So it, it started off slow in the pandemic. It went from 167, then all went all. Then July came and it went down 290. Yeah, that's loose, not even complete. Yeah. Like, uh, where do you see the? How do you check the complete ones? Complete price is 1700. I know that, but I mean the go and lie down, dog. I mean the. Um, um, what do you call it? The chart, the historic prices. How do you check that for complete? Oh, I don't know. Sasha, get lost. Go lie down. Fucking dog. Uh, box. Yeah, you can hit show pro, um, historic prices. Oh, there we go. Complete price box. So, November 2021, it went from... So, from May, it went from 1500 to 2400 to November of 2021. That's insane. Yeah. And if you All bought it fucking game. If you bought it in 20 2012, you can if you bought it in 2012, you could have bought it for 500 bucks. Which was yeah, still which... too much. And when Kyle and Steve bought it, they probably bought it for 600 because this is in 2018. So they ha if they have it, they have a game that's worth almost 3 grand on them. <laughs> that's more yeah. than any game I own. <laughs> like what the fuck? And I own games that are legitimately rarer than this fucking game, but because more people want this fucking game, it's worth that much money. Yeah. That's the worst part about it. Like, I own so many games that are, like, genuinely, like, so rare, and they're only worth, like, $100. Just because nobody wants them. Only me. On the, and the games I actually want to play is the worst part about it. So it's like, I fucking... Yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, of course. I own these games I want to play, but they're fucking only worth $100. Of course. And the game I don't give a shit about, like, fucking Earthbound's worth three grand. Like, come on. Mmm, mmm, I'm some cookies. Mmm. My friggin' dog won't leave me alone. I'm just trying to think of what other shit I have that might be worth some. Do you got, um. No, you don't have that anymore. You got rid of that guitar. No, I still have it. Oh, you still have the guitar. It didn't get crushed. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why? What is that? Guitar Hero 2? <laughs> Guitar Hero 2 guitar. <laughs> Those are worth a lot. 70. No. No, that's a rock band. Hmm. Here, let me get off Kijiji. I sold one for 40 bucks actually the other day. That one I was going to give you because I thought you didn't have a guitar. I sold it for 40 bucks to someone. Guitar Hero 2 bundle with guitar. Oh, that's a bundle. Hmm. Cool I am, dog. Price a hundred and forty bucks. Is that with the box or no? Loose. Wow. Oh wait, hold on. You gotta look on eBay listings for that kind of thing, cause like uh, price charting doesn't like do those properly for some reason, right? So Guitar Hero Two. PS2. Yeah, it's hard to find just the guitar. And let's see for sold ones here. Sold items, here we go. Alright, so, so one of the wireless ones sold for without a dongle sold for twenty four bucks. Um a wired one projection. But then a wired one that didn't have a dongle. So a wired one for PS2 sold for $78. Plus $81 shipping. You what? Get, you get money for the shipping, by the way. So if shipping only costs you $2, they give you 80 bucks. There you go. That's that's a fucking $78 profit right there. So, yeah, someone paid $150 for a guitar. No. This is recently, too. It's February 6, 2024. $88. Another one. Okay, I would probably have to take all the stickers and shit off it, though. <laughs> well, you're considering selling your guitar? 
No, I'm not. I'm just saying, like, theoretically. You could probably keep the, the stickers on, I think. But, like, you have to offer shipping, too, and shipping will cost you, like, 50 bucks. is the thing I could take into consideration, right? Right, but if I'm still making money. But these are all sold in the States, so... I, I had a guitar listed up there for over a month now. It still hasn't fucking sold. <laughs> Piece of shit. Well, I got it for free, so I, I can't really complain. But what we did, yeah. we, we fucking... It's really funny. Me and my brother, we did this together, right? So we put it for a dollar, but we put $80 shipping... <laughs> <laughs> nobody got it. Nobody bought it, eh? Not yet. <laughs> Damn. I'm waiting. You'll, Some, you, you'll get somebody one day. Someone's going to fall for it. I'm like, oh, only a dollar? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'm not going to read anything more. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes one time I had a game listed as shit condition. So I'm body like, what the fuck? It doesn't work. I'm like, well, it's shit condition. Go fuck yourself. That's a thing. <laughs> and then it's eBay the- was like, yeah, he listed as shit condition. So go fuck yourself. They sided with me. It was awesome. I'm not condoning scams because mm-hmm. technically that's a scam right nope it was listed as shit condition not my problem right exactly but like you have to put some blame on the buyer oh yeah when you're buying not thing- reading into it that's right not my like, problem it's not your fault somebody stupid and like thought they bought a guitar for a dollar and ended up paying like 150 bucks of fucking shipping <laughs> well it hasn't sold yet so we'll see what happens yeah like it, there, there's like a certain threshold but the thing is people are already charging eighty dollars shipping so i'm technically selling it cheaper for the, for these other these other ones yeah i just got it's only in canada but like shipping to the states is just unreal amount of money so it's not even worth shipping to the states you have to ship you have to put like a hundred dollars shipping to make it worth it yeah so like i had to get lucky and hope someone just be like oh the guitar's a dollar sweet and then right in the states and then oh fuck hundred dollars shipping this hasn't worked yet, but I'm going to try something else. Get rid of that fucking thing. The thing is with stuff like that is that you hope some rich guy who like doesn't even care about spending money yep. see that and be like, oh, this is a great deal. Yep. But chances are that guy is looking for like the complete set. Yep. Not That's... just a loose guitar. Yep. And those complete ones, but those complete ones are super rare. Like I'm looking right now, no one has a complete one. Like, they're actually extremely rare to find them complete. All these sold listings, none of them were complete. Not a single one. Sasha, get out! Yeah, literally only one. Wow, one... What is this person smoking? So this person sold... Wow, this guy got a fucking steal, man. So this guy bought a Guitar Hero 3 guitar complete in box, but no game, for 90 bucks. Free shipping! That's a steal! Damn. Because shipping costs you like $50. That's actually a fucking steal, man. That's insane. Good for him. Like, I could have bought that and put... You should have done that. Because Guitar Hero 3 is worthless as a game, right? So you just fucking throw the game in there, and you can sell that for, like, a million dollars. Like, you could sell that for, like, 300 bucks, probably. Damn. Yeah. You should do that. It's actually super rare to find. Like, Guitar Hero in box is actually super rare. Like, nobody actually understands that, because nobody fucking kept those boxes. Did you keep them when you bought Guitar Hero? No. That's what I mean, I can. No, I'm sure nobody did. I don't even remember the box will look like. Cause that's how li- that's how long it lasted. Five seconds. Okay, so I don't know a lot about this, but my video card in my computer. Mhm. It's like the one. Did you hear about how the new one came out? And it was kind of like the PS5, where everybody bought it and they were scalping it for more. Yeah, so, like, the only way to get a PS5 is if you spent, like, I was so $900. fucking funny, yep. So, it was, like, the same thing with my GeForce video card. Yep. But it was the one, it was, like, the new one. I have the one right before it. Mm-hmm. So, I bought mine for, like, 600 bucks or something. Mm-hmm. Like, it was the tippity top quality at the time when I built my computer. Mm-hmm. And... That whole thing happened with, like, the new generation of video card or whatever. So, my graphics card, for a time, I don't know if it still is, was worth way more than my entire computer. (laughs) Just the graphics card, because people wanted the one before it. Yep. So, I bought it for, like, $600, and I could have sold it for, like, $3,000. You should have. I should have, but, like, I don't know. 
What did you do? But then I would have no graphics card. Would you do it now, though? You had, you knew? Well, I'm sure the price went down now. Mm-hmm. I don't know. If, but, I think this still might be fucked. I'm not sure. But Yeah. I would sell it. Sure, I would make money, but I would also have no computer. That's the thing. Yeah. But would you have gone, like, would you have sold it and then gotten another different kind of graphics card, or what? I mean, I probably could have. Like, I don't play games that require that much. Yeah. Fucking strength or whatever you call it but yeah yeah and, and i have a funny story about that is that when all that shit was happening my brother he went to one of the stores in ottawa right and they're just selling them for retail price right so he was like oh sweet so he bought a couple of them and just sold them for like double the price on ebay or whatever to people <laughs> and people were buying them same with the ps5 like yeah he, just he said it sold in like one, one day bucks for it i know yeah it's he said it sold in one day. It's fucking hilarious. He it's bought it, but went home, put it up, sold it immediately. <laughs> he yeah. made like four hundred dollars. That's people were, why they do it because people buy it. People are retarded. It's as simple as that. They're just fucking retarded. They just want the best, like right now. But that was to pay whatever. That was fucking hilarious though when that happened to my brother. It's the funniest thing, man. He's just telling me this shit. We just, I just went to the store. I bought it and just sold it right after that. I didn't even mean yeah. to, but it just so happened they had it. So fuck it, <laughs> right? Yeah. People are just retarded. That's, it's as simple as that. Like people were buying PS5s for that much because they're retarded. Like there's no other way around it. People just love to waste money. It's FOMO. If you're missing out. Goes, yeah, it goes back to my main point. Like it's not the seller's fault. No, people are just fucking it's the retarded. Buyer's fault for spending that much money on something they don't know what they're buying that's right people are it's like i said at the end of the fucking day everyone's just fucking retarded that's the yeah. and, and and people want to make money yeah and they do it by you, fucking burning stupid people yeah and that's the reason everything's so expensive it's because everyone's just so stupid and just just accepts it yeah. right it's just it's frustrating it's funny sometimes but when when it yeah. when it screws everyone over and it's not funny right yeah and, and that yeah but yeah i don't get political here but yeah, it, but it's so it's really fucking funny when things like that happen though. Like with the PS Five, pe- like people were going, people were buying two, they're for like two grand at one point. I remember. Yeah. Like, can you imagine paying two thousand dollars for a fucking PS Five? Yeah. What a waste of money. It, it, you're right. It is FOMO. It is. It was all it, FOMO. It's real, like status at that point. I almost, I almost fell for it. I almost bought a PS Five for like eight hundred dollars. And I'm like, wait a minute, this is a waste of my fucking money. Fuck that. I realized that thankfully. Cause this is during the shortage, right? Because I wanted to get one. And then, like, then I also realized all the games I want to play are still no coming on PS4. It. So it's like, what's and the fucking point? Buy it in stores. Yeah, exactly. You can only buy it from retards. And there's so many people. I see so many people now that are selling their PS5s. They're like, oh, I never played it, and I paid like twelve grand, twelve hundred dollars for it. And I was like, well, that's your own fault. Yeah. It's all your own fault. You could have played almost all the games that came out until like last year on PS4. Literally every game that came out of, until last year, I think, was the first year where like PS5 games are finally being exclusive to PS5. So it's like it wasn't even worth it. It legitimately was not even worth it. It's, it's worth it now. Just, this is just video games. Like a- anywhere you look, like people are buying, doing the exact same thing they're doing with video games, like flipping and selling. Mm-hmm. They're doing that with clothing. Oh yeah, they've been doing it for everything for years. Like, Everything, anything you look at. Like, but the thing with video games, the video games are video games are worse than other things though because we one we don't need to spend money on it, and two, it never used to be this way. But ever since like YouTube and social media and all this shit blew up, it just became just became a norm and a big huge just bubble that just all of a sudden expanded massively. Did too. I did I tell you the story about? I told you about when I was. Um, demoing that house right no you never told me this go on I'm okay listening. so last winter it was kind of like a lull like i was in between jobs and just like looking for work yep and some guy offered me a job to help demolish a house to rebuild cool like take down the drywall and basically gut a house yep so we were doing that and he was ripping up the floorboards in one of the rooms and there was a like a sports card. Yeah. I never told you about this? No, you never told me. Go on. Oh, shit. So he found a sports card. Yeah. It was like a hockey card. It was yeah. super old. So obviously whoever put the floorboards in, like, put it in as, like, How should I get on a it? little, like, I was here moment. Yep. 
You know what I mean? I like, this was the year I put this in. Like, I know what you mean, yeah. To whoever else discovers it. Yeah. So I look on Kijiji, and it was worth, like, $4,000. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, and he found it, and it was in good condition because it was, like, pushed up against the drywall between the... That's amazing. The, it was like, in the good baseboard. Con- That's amazing it was in good condition sitting there for that yeah. long. It wasn't great condition, but... But card, it was, but like, like some, there was no, it wasn't ripped or anything. Some sports cards are just retarded. How much money they're worth? Yeah, because back then they were like paper. Yeah, like they weren't laminated or anything. No, they were literally just paper. So he found it, so he get he got to keep it. That's awesome. So I was like going through all the floorboards. I was like going through every room, <laughs> seeing if they they got anything else. Yeah. <laughs> and lo and behold, I find this travel car I, I could take a picture of it right now if you want for it if you send it, it was like a, send it on my facebook yeah it was like a travel card from thailand yeah so i was like oh shit like here we go <laughs> it was like a postcard or something like, this is gonna be big yeah i look it up yeah he, i'm like or i show him i'm like yeah i found this yeah and he's like you know what you keep that one yeah nice and i was like sick like, thank you. Like, you found it, you keep it. Yeah. I was like, that's fair. Yeah, it's, it's only fair. So I'm like all excited. I go on <laughs> Kijiji, I look up the price. Six bucks. <laughs> Six dollars. <laughs> and he found the card that's worth, like, thousands of dollars. <laughs> I'll take a picture right now. Do you still have it? Yeah. Are you just going to keep it? <laughs> Yeah, cool. One second. You're fucking pissed off. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. That is something that would definitely happen to you. I can't believe that you found a fucking card for six dollars. He's so excited. Oh my god. <laughs> and it's from like 19 like 50 <laughs> it was like sick like it's a little scratched up but yeah it's like surely this is worth something and it's worth nothing fucking six dollars <laughs> like mint condition six so i would have gotten like fuck 50 cents for it it's like he knew <laughs> yeah and there was nothing else so it was 50 50 that's it's either funny. I would have found it or he would have found it. He that, fucking found it. Yeah, he fucking found that. That is so funny. Did he find that before you started helping him or no? No, I was there. Like we were both tearing down the house. Okay, yeah. And you you seen it when he found it, eh? Yeah. Like he was the owner of the house, so he showed me. Oh, he was the owner of the house. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Is that oh. oh no, it's Costa Rica. Oh here we go. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before we go on. <laughs> I want to see something here. Okay, so I found a graded one of that card. Okay. How much is it worth, though? It doesn't say on this website. I found a graded yeah. one. I don't know how much it's worth, though. What did you look up? Like I, I just took a... I just downloaded the picture and used Google Lens on it. Mm. There is no... There's a whole collection of them, so I think you might have the collection... Have to have the collection... It doesn't say the price. It just shows the dollar sign. It's weird. All right. So the most valuable one. Uh, I don't know if that's how that works. It really, really nice. This website like made sense. Like, what the fuck? Mm, okay. How much are people on eBay selling it for then? I have a Yugoslavia one. Okay. Can you like work, please, phone? Hello. Yeah, people are grading them, but I don't know if yours is grade worthy or not by the looks of it, eh? No, there's a big scratch in it. I don't know if I yeah probably hit it isn't. with a hammer or something. Yeah, but I did find it. Yeah, you did find it. Yeah, I don't think it's worth anything. I don't know. I can't find anything on it. 
Found yeah, the great ones, his, but they're probably worthless. I can't remember who. It was definitely a hockey player. Yeah. Was it Gretzky? And he no, was it like, Gretzky, I don't know. no, no, no. It was way older. Yeah. As I say, that's definitely older than him. That's crazy. Yeah. It's fucking hilarious, though. <laughs> I know. You have to admit, that is so really annoying. funny. <laughs> and I asked him, I was like, you know, are you sure you want that card? No, he's like, <laughs> I was like, fuck. <laughs> You so sure you want that sure. car? <laughs> yeah, the it's only worth the four grand. <laughs> I shouldn't have showed him how much it was worth, too. Oh, like, did you look it up? Is that what happened? I did. Yeah, I was like, oh shit, like that's probably worth something. Yeah, I looked so, it up. Yeah, so I learned this lesson before. I don't remember when, but uh, never if you want to never look something up for someone if you want to if you think it's worth money. Just be like, oh, that looks pretty cool. I'll take it off your hands. Yeah, you know what I mean? I should have. I don't and know. then that's when you look it up. Then, because then if it's worth something, then you then you don't tell them and you sell it for four grand. If it is, isn't, then oh well, then you tell them. Because mm-hmm. he's an old. Guy. He's like in his seventies. If fuck, I would have just been him. like, oh, that's cool. Can I have it? Yeah. He would have a hundred percent just given it to me. Yeah. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. What are you gonna do, eh? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Just my. Family. How much money did you make for tearing down the house, though? Oh, he was paying me well in yeah. cash too. Right on, yeah. So well, she made some money yeah. on it at least, right? It was hard work, but yeah. It was, must have been fun though, destroying shit. Yeah, I'll send you uh, a video. Cool. Uh, I hope we get a video when you found the card too. We found the Thailand one. <laughs> no, I did find a gun though. You found a ceiling. gun. Yeah. Like a real gun? A real gun. What kind of gun was it? Too. I just sent it. Let's see. So did this guy owned that place? Yeah, he bought it and he was just completely gutting it. And So what, what did you do with the gun? Uh, I don't know. I gave it to him. I think he probably killed somebody. <laughs> He probably found Eric and was like, "Is your time's yeah. up, buddy?" And he shot him. Like, he's like, "I think this is yours." <laughs> You're digging part Eric's house. Yeah, that's what it really was. You're trying Eric's to... childhood home. Yeah, Eric's childhood home was being taken apart, and that's why that's why it was bought. <laughs> that explains a lot. Now we know what happened to him. <laughs> He was shot by that gun, and, and, and when you tore the house down, <laughs> full circle. And he was killed in the house. See, that car was actually Eric's. The reapers were holding on to that was their prized possession. <laughs> oh, that's why there was a uh, skull. Yeah, that's why there was bones in there. Techno was carved in the side. <laughs> Techno. I wish I remembered the other names of the reapers. You know, I really do. God, they're stupid. Yeah, because Techno is just such a fucking... That, that's such Techno a good name. Techno's iconic. It is very iconic. Honestly, if I was part of a gang, I think I would call myself Techno. I'm not going to lie. It's a... Yeah, I, it's strike fear in in the in, in people's yeah. hearts. Techno. <laughs> I told you about how they were going to raid that fucking greenhouse on the on our where our high school was, right? Yeah, just down the road. Because weed was in there. Well, there was that was when we was legalized, actually. So, and they were start like allowed to start growing it and shit, right? Yeah. So yeah, they were they were actually like serious about it too. They were, but obviously it didn't happen because they were probably. High. I do remember that. They were probably yeah. high when they were talking about it. Was the thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the day they ha- they gave weed brownies to the fucking teacher, the substitute teacher. <laughs> Man, I wish I got to see that. And he started hitting on on girls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Eric, first of all, don't eat brownies Eric offers you. They used to be fine, but yeah. Yeah, but he was like, "These are special brownies." Yeah, I remember when he started making special ones. I remember that. So we all eat them, and uh, fuck this, the sexy substitute teacher comes around, <laughs> eats one of the brownies. Half an hour later, he's like leaning on the bookshelf, like flirting with fifteen-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd seen that man. Fuck that. that yeah. I can't believe I missed out on that. I do remember when he that gave Lockhart funny. one because he, he gave he gave yeah, he gave him he one. Did. And uh, I just remember he was always on our asses, right? And that day he was just in the office the whole day, just going just 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 spacing out, right? 
Yeah. The whole time. Because I think he knew. I had a feeling. It was a good batch. Yeah. I think he knew that he got fucking high. So he's like, I just got to hide this. I can't let them know I got high or something like that. I don't he know. He was just rolling with it. Yeah. Just yeah. rolling with it. Just, just like, you know what? I'm just going to hang on in the office all day. And yeah, no one's going to, no one's going to know. Right. Because he probably got fired if they found out about it. He's it was like, so funny seeing this teacher. He was just chilling. Leaning on the bookshelf. He was on, just like leaning with his arms Hitting on cross, students. Like, well, like, the students were just like talking to him, but. But he thought he was it, hitting it was on funny. them. That's yeah. the funniest part about it. It's like how Beatty would fucking wink at us. <laughs> yeah, and then I straight up got my leg touched by Mr. That What's was, his name? Rasidi. Oh, I, I thought Beatty did that. No, that was our city. Okay. That must have been really weird. We had a name for him. What was it? Rapey or something? Mr. Molesky? Shitty. Yeah, I remember... <laughs> you remember the movie Up, obviously. Mm-hmm. And you remember... Do you remember Chance? Mm-hmm. So there yeah, was, he looked like the kid from Up. Yeah, and we said if he said next to Mercedes, we could have had a live-action fucking... Uh, um, up poster because they look <laughs> probably <laughs> and he died he was weird man I, that was the last time I sat next to him yeah I don't blame you I don't, he was a really weird teacher I forget what the class was called but we basically just, it was like a group therapy group therapy like we would all was bring our the, chairs in a circle was that what the it was like an AA ed, meeting was that with the special ed kids no, this was like a, Just a fucking full class. on. What the hell did you? Yeah, take? credited class. I I think it was an elective. What the fuck did you take? It was social something or other. I didn't even know that was a thing. It was um. I think it was a communication because Kyle was and Dan, Jew Dan, they were yep. in that class. Really? Yeah. Huh. I didn't even know that was a fucking thing that class, you know. I remember you guys taking that now. I now I think about it. Yeah. But I don't I don't remember any, I don't remember anything about it. Well it was obviously I wasn't there, but I just didn't even know it was a yeah. thing. Like until you guys took it, I didn't even know it existed. Honest to God. Yeah, it, it was weird. It's just so weird to think about. And he touched your leg. Yeah, he was like Yeah. All I remember from fucking Beatty's class was sitting there and watching anime. I've been rewatching the anime I watched in that class, and I don't know how I got away with that. And I was fucking watching anime and playing RuneScape at the same time in class. Like, how did I get away with that? How did I, how the fuck did I get away with that? That I, is no comparison. To, I took chemistry with Eric. Yeah, you were there. I was there too. You were in that class. Yeah, I was with um, Bennett. No, that was Bell. Hmm. Okay, I was thinking of biology, but go on. Yeah, I don't think you were in that class because the only person I knew was Eric, so I okay. sat beside him. Yeah, that's what I did in, in fucking horticulture. Go on. The entire semester, he was playing Mountain Blade. Yeah, that's what horticulture was. He was because the entire class. Yeah, but you know what he did in horticulture? He would get all his work done, and the teacher would be like, "Oh, you didn't get that done. Let me see it." And he'd look at it and be like, "This is really good." Oh, well, Miss, okay. Miss and, Bell, then, and then you go and play or fucking mountain play. Exactly. <laughs> in horticulture, that makes sense because he's interested in that stuff. Yeah, and he was really good at it. But you know why? It's because he wanted to fucking play mountain play. That's the only reason he was doing good at it because he wanted to fucking play mountain play. <laughs> so I would help Eric in chemistry. Like, I would oh, basically yeah. do I remember our this, homework yeah. at the same time. Yeah, yeah. And Miss Bell, who was, what's his face, his mom. Um, uh, oh, I know what you're talking about. Um,. Uh, fuck, what's his name? He's a creepy kid, right? Logan? Yeah, Logan. Is that it? Yes. Yes, yeah, it was yeah, Logan. She was a MILF, first of all. <laughs> but. Shout out to your listening, remember, Logan. Yeah, after every class, she'd be like, thank you so much for helping Eric out. Like, I know he's struggling in this class. Like, I really appreciate you helping him out. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, this dude plays Mountain Blade the entire day. I'm not doing shit. Didn't You're he... the one passing him. <laughs> Didn't he, like, know what he was doing in that class, too? I don't know. I, I remember Eric was really smart. He didn't do anything. I remember he was really smart, but he was just so fucking lazy. Because he was always oh, he's always hung over and always high hung over because he didn't have weed. Is that one of yeah. the two? Is one of the two, right? I don't know what you call that, but, um... Yeah, it was one of the two, and, and he just sat there with his head down all day. He wasn't playing Mountain Blade. 
That's what, yeah, that's what every class was for him. You just sit down with his head down if he wasn't playing Mountain Blade. That's all it was. Yeah, and he kept saying like, "Oh, look at this! Like, look what I'm doing!" I'm like, "I'm never <laughs> fucking playing Mountain Blade. I don't know what the hell you're doing." <laughs> Like, I'm actually trying to learn some, some chemistry here. <laughs> and he's just playing Mountain Blade. And he's, and we're, like, not at the back. Like, we're second row, and he's playing Mountain Blade. So everybody's watching him playing Mountain Blade. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I, like, I remember in Beatty's class, too. I seriously was playing fucking RuneScape and getting advice from Blair while watching anime. And Blair being like, what the fuck are you watching? At the same time, and then somehow I got yeah. away with it. I don't know how the fuck I got away with it. I honestly, God, don't know how. Like, because I—it's crazy. I, I don't know. It, it was awesome. It was so much fun. Like, it's just—I don't know. Because because the year before that, we had a hard time getting away with anything. Remember, like in fucking yeah. drafting, how hard it was to get away with shit. We even had to. We had to like one person had to watch sometimes for the teacher, and then the other guy would, wa- would play the game or be like half be like free time. So well, that's the thing. Around. We were smart about it. Like, yeah. One of us would always be doing work, and the other one would be fucking around. Yeah. And then we would just kind of like... But in grade 12, we would just fuck talk around. Talk to each other and get the... Whatever we have to do. But no, but like grade 12... we would 12, get it done. But grade 12, honest to God, we just fucked around the whole time. Like, genuinely, I didn't do anything but fuck around. Yeah. Drafting, like, I don't know. I passed that with like a set... Like a high 70s. Well, we passed it because our teacher wanted us to fast. Because we said, we don't know what the fuck we're doing. We only took this because we were retarded. And, uh, yeah. yeah. So he was like, he okay. basically walked me through the exam. Yeah, me too. But, you know, we did try it to try and pass it, though. Even though we fucked around a lot, we did try yeah. it to pass it, though. And he was a pretty good teacher, I must say. Yeah, good, was, I did my work. Like, I, I liked AutoCAD. I know how to use AutoCAD, so. Yeah, I don't care for it in the slightest, but, you know. It, yeah. it, it was fun, it was it was fun playing that rhythm game. What was that game called? <laughs> Oh, Super Crazy Guitar Maniac Deluxe? Yeah. Great. Great. Awesome. Oh my god. I beat Pokemon Glazed. How did you do? Oh it yeah. Like four days. No, that drafting. was no, that was over like a couple months you beat that. I remember. Okay. It wasn't four days. Because I remember what we did was you would play it and I'd be the one on the lookout then. Yeah. Cause they, and you, or you, you would, would just watch me the whole time. Yeah, but I'd also be on the lookout too, right? Because I'd be like... Because be like, oh shit, he's coming, right? So then, because my screen would always be pretending I'm doing work, and then you would yeah. switch yours over, right? And but when we actually work, we would basically just copy each other, but make little adjustments. <laughs> so it didn't seem obvious we were copying each other. Like we were really smart about it. That was a lot of fun that class, though. I must say, it, yeah, that was a ton of fun. Skipping class was retarded because we did it in the stupidest fucking way possible. Yeah. You, you remember that when we fucking we would walk to Tim Hortons, be late, and then be like, "Well, let's just skip class." Like. <laughs> I took 12B yeah. for half a semester. <laughs> yeah. It was the biggest waste of time. Yeah, I know. Because I was working full time. Yeah. I barely went to school. If I went to school, I was playing Smash with Evan. Yep. In the, That's all 12B was. In the resource you, just, room. you just went for 12B just to waste time. That's all it was. You didn't take Basically, 12B. I, I like didn't know what to do. I didn't. Exactly. That's what everyone took was, 12B was. I remember there was kids above us, and that's what they did. They just fucked around the library all day. Yeah. They didn't know what they wanted to do. I don't even think I passed 12B. I don't even know. I can't remember. The 12B was just genuinely a waste of time. That's all it was. Because I got my high school diploma when yeah. I graduated from grade 12. Yeah, I remember. And, we and never, then 12B. And we never took any pictures together. Yeah. I have pictures from my graduation. I do, too. We never took any together, though, Ripperonis. Yeah. We should have. I was looking sexy. I know. I was, too. We just didn't want to. purple tie. Oof. I remember that graduation, too, man. So nostalgic, isn't it? Is that when we went to the farm for like the after party, or was that? No, that was Sarah's party a few years later. Yeah, I was. Kyle was like throwing up. That's funny. <laughs> he deserved that. Get out of there! Dog. I remember Steve at that party, man. He was high the whole time. He was high before the party started. At the time, I thought Steve was so cool. <laughs> Because you were high with him. Like, <laughs> yeah, I would like spend most of the time with him. But he was just like in, like we were all outside. Yeah. And he was in the little shack. Yeah. Just like. Getting high? <laughs> just chill. Like he had his sweater on. He was just like lounging, smoking weed. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, man, Steve. What happened to him, eh? Yeah. Damn saying what happened to him. It's too bad. It really is. It's, too, it's too bad you don't hear back from him at all. I remember that party. 
I was working at Tim Hortons in Dunville. Is that when you were working at Tim Hortons? How did you work at the was. factory? No, that was when I was at Tim Hortons. Oh, okay. Yeah. I worked at the factory after this happened. Oh. So, I remember calling in, because we slept in tents there. Yep. Right? I don't yep. know if you slept over. No, I didn't. I didn't want to yeah. be there at all at the time. Yeah, so we slept in a tent, and I called at like 6 a.m. I was like, I'm not going to make it into work. Yep. And then, uh, a couple days later when I had to work, the manager called me in. Yeah. And I knew she was going to say something about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to give in my two weeks <laughs> before she could <laughs> fire me. Because <laughs> I knew she would. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's that was funny. a low point. That was pretty good, though, how you did that. Yeah. But did, it, I don't know. At the time, I felt like the party was worth more you, worth than having a job. I, I thought know. you worked at McDonald's. I don't remember the timeline here. Because when, you, when did you work at McDonald's? Okay, I think I worked at McDonald's briefly after Tim Hortons. I think you did too. I can't remember the timeline. I remember the factory, but I can't remember when you worked at McDonald's. Like, yeah, I worked weird. at McDonald's not for a long time. No, it wasn't a long time at all. I was working at No Froze. I think I just started. I don't remember. Yeah, I, just, I think it was like four or five months I was at McDonald's. Because you got to keep up the tradition of working across from where I work, remember? Yeah. <laughs> it went, on, it went and, on all the way to my last job in Ontario. Yeah, that, that was the time. That was, I was awesome. I was broke. Like, I had yeah, no Yeah, I remember money. that. I remember that. It, it was fucked. You like, couldn't even I come over because you couldn't drive over. <laughs> yeah, I literally couldn't even afford gas. You were like, Kyle, <laughs> except for you weren't going to Wendy's. <laughs> yeah, because my insurance was so high and my mom was charging me rent. Yeah, yeah. That was, like, yeah, it's the so lowest gay. point financially for me ever. Yep, yeah, I remember that. That was shitty. Yeah, and then my brother was working at this factory. Yep. And he told me about it, and it was like, you can make 12 bucks an hour, and at the time, that was like... That was huge at the time, though. That was unheard of. That was like 3 bucks above minimum wage. Oh, yeah. That was, that was 2 bucks. It was $10, I remember, but still, that was insane during that time. Yeah. So I was like, fuck, sign me up. Yep. So I went to that, and I started making bank there. Yep. That's crazy to think about. 12 bucks an hour. That's what we were fucking excited about. Yeah. Now I make like... <sighs> I make almost three times that, and I'm just like, I barely have any money. <laughs> yeah. It's unreal. I mean, everything's but even so much, but, and yeah, yeah. Go yeah. On. Even then, that was, like, a super low point. Like, I was just fucking doing drugs, like, fucking around. Yeah. You didn't know what you wanted to do with your life, though. Yeah. You still don't. I mean, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, hey, does okay. anybody? Yeah, exactly. Does anyone? I mean, Yeah. Who, who really knows? But yeah, it was fun though. Yeah. It, I like looking back on it, even though it was a shit. It was a little point for me too. I, I didn't. I didn't. I think I graduated college and I just didn't know what the fuck I wanted to do. If I wanted to pursue my career or not. Yeah. And sorry, that took a kind of dark turn, but I don't care. It's fine. I forgot about that. It was good times, to be honest. Looking back on it, it was a lot of fun mm -hmm. back then. Because you know what it was too is that was before. Um, I won't say his mom, his name, but his mom passed away. Just to keep it. Uh, if you remember that. Right. Who? Uh, I'll send it on Discord. Oh. Yeah, that's when that happened, and that's things changed a lot then. But I'm not going to go into that on here. But uh, yeah, yeah. But, but like during that time, it was good times though. I remember it was. It was uh, there was a big change after that, and I never realized it till like la like last year. Or so I never realized how big of a change that was. And that's kind of is that when is that around the time he met? Um, no. This was Tyson. What the fuck is this? Mike Tyson was in 2019. Mm. Yeah, that's when that happened. It was right before the year before. Holy what the fuck's fuck. his name? Was it before fucking COVID? Um, yes, it 100 percent was. Yeah, okay. I think he met him like the, the Christmas before COVID. You know that? It was because I remember going to your house, meeting him. Yeah, that. What the f COVID is just. You were at you were at your mom's house. Yeah. No, I was at my mom's house till yeah. I was at, that was the I, um, I was at my mom's house the whole time I lived in Ontario. But we were um, playing fucking Monopoly or something. We were playing that Pokemon board game. That's what we were playing. Yeah, that that's was right. that was yeah. a fun board game actually. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, but um, man, it's so fucking weird to look back on COVID and how like you just look back on like a month before COVID and things were so different. 
it's crazy the jump between it's you crazy. living with your parents and where you are now. I know. Like, it's insane. Yeah. There's, like, it's as absolutely insane to think about. Like, when I look back on that, it's like, what the fuck? Yeah. It's just so weird. Like, I didn't have a permanent position. I didn't fucking... I, I had my car, and that's all I had to my name. And I had my fucking yeah. dog, my cat, my car, permanent position. I make, like... I make, like, almost double what I was making back then, which is insane. And I'm getting taxed so hard I'm not. But anyways, um... Yeah, it, it's insane to look back on, though, eh? Yeah, that like, was a crazy time for me. And then I moved to Toronto. Oh, yeah, and then you moved to Toronto, man. Yeah, you were... It felt like a long time, but when you look back on it, you were only there for, like, a year. Like, I've been I here longer there. than you were in Toronto. Yeah, I was there just under two years. Yeah. Like, I, I've actually... Went, yeah, you came to my place in Toronto. Yeah, I've been there a lot of times, remember? Watched yeah. a lot of Trailer Park Boys. Yeah. And ate Popeyes. Got pizza. Yeah, that was a good time. It, it that was, was a cool place. It was a pretty cool place. It's just too expensive to fucking get there all the time. I wasted a lot of money going there, but it was worth it. Even to this day, living in Toronto is the cheapest place I've ever lived. Which is insane. Yeah. Like, I was paying 300 bucks a month, all included. Wow. To live in Toronto. That's cheaper than the place I had before. And my room was massive, and I had a kitchen. I'm sure, I had to share it, but it was with people I knew. Yeah, exactly. But that's in Toronto, though. Keep in mind. Yeah. That's fucking Toronto. That's insane. Yeah. That, we that's uh, that's so unheard like, of in Toronto. How the fuck did you find that? Uh, my brother just... My brother wanted me to move to Toronto for so long. Yeah. And he just offered me this place. And I was like, fuck it. Like, I, I have the time. I have the money now. Like, yep. why not? Yeah, you know, it's too bad that uh, you couldn't stay there, eh? Cause, well, I don't know. In a way, it is. But, like, it's not... You didn't own it. So, like, it didn't really matter in the end. Yeah. I was kind of over it, honestly, by the end. Yeah, I understand. I, Yeah, I, I hate visiting Toronto now. I, I can't stand it. The big city life kind of wears off fast. Yeah, it definitely does. You really got to be involved with it all the time and just enjoy it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's so noisy. Yeah, exactly. There's too much shit going on. There is too much shit going on. That's why I like Ryan. There's nothing going on. That's the way I like it. <laughs> well, you got to find a good balance. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because the nice thing, the nice thing about Toronto mm -hmm. is that no matter what time yep. I wanted to get something to eat mm -hmm. or I wanted to do something, there's yep. always something open. Yep. Like, there's always something to do. Yep. Especially that part of Toronto you lived in. That was, like, one of the better yeah. parts of Toronto to live in. It was a fucking awesome yeah. part of Toronto to live in, actually. Like, if I lived in yeah, Toronto, it, I'd live around where you live, to be honest. Because it was just... It's, it's yeah, it was, a like, shithole. middle class. Yeah. It's a shithole, but, like, for Toronto, it's fucking awesome. Right? Like, my uncle explained yeah, it to me... it was a good street. I, uncle, I explained to my uncle a few years ago. I'm like, I hate Toronto and all this, right? He's like, oh, man, you don't understand. Toronto's a fucking awesome city to live in. But I'm like, yeah, but, like, cities suck. Let me just put it that way. I fucking hate cities, for one. I'm not a city person at all. And if you don't yeah, live in either. the city, it's just a nightmare to get, go there. You know? Yeah. I always tell people here how Toronto just ruined the whole fucking province because all the fuckers in Toronto moved all over the place there and just populated everywhere, right? But, like... Yeah. But I never understood what he was trying to say until a little bit after, though, what he means that Toronto was awesome because, like, that part... like, And I thought of where you lived and I thought of what you just said. There's always something to eat. There's always something to do. And that is true. Yeah. You know what I mean? And there's always someone to talk to. Like, there's... Like, yep. And they're so multicultural. Like, you can get anything there. It was awesome. Yeah. A lot of interesting people. Yep. A lot of ways to meet people. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Like, uh, Toronto, like, if you like cities, Toronto is a pretty sick city. But you got to live in the part you live in, though. You can't, like, live in, like, Scarborough or fucking Mississauga or. Like, you got to live in Tobacco or Old Toronto. That's what I hate about it. And those are, like, the hardest yeah. parts to get into. It's like I love old Toronto. People but... who want to live in New York, but yeah, New York is Toronto times three. Yeah, exactly. Have you been to New York yeah. yet? No, it's pretty sick. So I guess there. I'm just yeah. Yeah, I like I like New York. It's pretty cool. But, but like, what I know of Toronto or uh, New York. Yeah, it's literally just Toronto times three. You're not wrong there. It's yeah. it's just Toronto, but it's bigger, and yeah. and it's not as diverse because um, America is more of a melting pot than Canada is. And they say Canada's melting pot, but I think they kind of mix that up. Because when we mean, when I mean melting pot, they means that like all these cultures kind of come together, but then they're all still American. We're in Canada here, they come together, but they're their own culture, but they're Canadian. But like, they're they're still they're they're more their own culture than they are Canadians. But Canadians' culture is just all these different people. Where Americans' culture is American culture. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
Do you know what I'm trying to say? I, I yeah, I know what you're saying. Right. So New York's cool for that because it's very very American, right? Like even when you see like Hispanic people, you see Chinese people, whatever, right? They're they're still American though. We're here. They're they're their own culture. So like it's a different yeah. experience than this year, which is in some ways it's really cool. Some ways it's not. I kind of I don't know. I don't know what I prefer because I'm not a fucking city person, like I said. So I feel like Toronto is okay. So. Toronto to New York mm-hmm. is what New York is to LA. Right on. What do you mean by that? Like Los Angeles, you know. What yeah, I, mean? I know what LA is. What do you mean by? But like, how is LA compared to New York? Elaborate. It's just like a bigger and bigger city. Like you move to this city if you want to make it. I th- yeah, isn't like you uh... move to Toronto for like good job opportunities. Yep. And then you move to New York for good job opportunities. Yep. And then when you're in New York, you want to move to LA. But isn't LA smaller than Toronto? It's smaller. Uh, it's smaller than New York. Yeah, that's what I meant. It's smaller than New York, not Toronto, sorry. But it's just like in terms of busyness and like... Yeah, it's definitely smaller. They only got 3 million there. And Toronto, uh, New York probably has, uh, I think it's close to 10 million. I believe it, yeah. Let me double check. I'm going to look it up right now. Is that including like Niagara Falls, New York? Um, yes, yeah, New York City, I mean. So New York City is 8 million people. Yeah, I figured as I knew New York was like it's. I think it is the biggest city in America, right? It's like it's like yeah. it's like the Tokyo of um, of America, for example. So that is yeah, one way some people sure. describe it. It's hard to like compare because they're completely different cities, but it's like you gotta go to Japan. Oh, I will one day. Just yeah, you just gotta figure it out. Is all it's expensive is the yeah. problem, right? Japan's really. Fun. I, I don't know if it's expensive, but it's just you gotta be prepared for it. Is the thing, right? Because it's. Yeah. It's nothing like visiting anywhere else in the world. There's nowhere like Japan. Korea is the closest, and even Korea is not like Japan is a thing, right? So like, you got to have someone who wants to go. My brothers don't want to go. I'm like, I don't know why the fuck you don't want to go. Like, I understand you want to go to somewhere like China or Korea, because China's a shithole. Korea, it's not a shithole. Like, South Korea is a nice place, I'm wrong. It's just, it's not... I don't want to go to China. No, I never want to go to China. But they act like they act like going to Japan is like going to China, though, is what I mean. It's like, okay, like, Japan, yeah, it's an Asian country. It's a completely yeah, different country. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking, everything's close together and all that and crammed together. But Japan is like, is nothing like China. It's only, the only similarity that's in Asia. That's li- the only fucking similarity from my understanding. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, in Japan, it's, yeah. they say it's the best, some people say it's the best place to visit, but that's because I follow a lot of weeaboo, so, I mean, uh, yeah. right? But, yeah, I, I really want to Okay, go. but if you think of it as, like, an Asian culture... Yeah, India is also included in there. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. India is in Asia. Exactly, that's what I mean. And that's they how they—that's Asian- how they look at it, though. They look at it as one of those Asian countries. They don't look at it as yeah. Japan, because, like I said, right. you have to look at Japan as Japan, not as an Asian country. Yes, it is an Asian country, but it's completely—I don't know. It's just—it's hard to explain. But like from my, yeah. and I've never been there. This is only my like limited knowledge from what I hear about it and playing Yakuza games from of anime course. and anime, of course, <laughs> mostly from Yakuza games because you know Japan Simulator. But um, yeah. <laughs> it's like GTA um, in Japan. Yeah, right? it's like GTA in Japan, pretty much. Yeah, exactly. From my understanding, though, it's just like I don't know. It's something that's like you got to be prepared for because there's just so much shit to do in Japan. Like it's unreal. It's just so because it's so small, right? So they just, and the population's so big. There's just so much shit to do. So but many. living in a big city, you see some shit. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah, like, good. the more people, the more story? shit you see. You I do. I, I got two, actually. All right, let's hear them. Um, so Kensington Market, mm-hmm. which is a big part of... It's on Pol- the borders of downtown Toronto. Is that in, like, the... um? You know where there's, like, Greek Village, Polish Village, and all that? Is that around there? Uh, Greek Town? Sort where? of. It's more close to Chinatown. Okay, because it sounds Polish, but go on. Yeah, um, so I was maybe like three blocks away because I would walk to work. Yep, of course you're in or Toronto. Or bike to work. You, so, don't, you don't fucking yeah. drive in Toronto. Yeah, I sold my car my car before I moved to Toronto. Yep, that's the Toronto life. Yeah, you, you crushed it actually, but go on. <laughs> yeah, I fucking turned it into a cube. You love doing that. <laughs> yeah, just your PS2. Yeah, just your PS2s and <laughs> yeah, my, yeah, my fucking my other PS2 is probably in there. <laughs> um. <laughs> but on the way to work, I was biking, and in the distance, I heard like pop, 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 mm. like a few pops. Yeah, and I was like, okay, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> and then I get to work. Yeah, <laughs> like I thought, I don't know, somebody was doing construction or something. Yeah, you don't, you don't question it in a big city, right? Yeah, and then like four hours into my shift, yeah, it turns out somebody 
shot up Kensington Market and killed like four people. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but it's, it's just because, crazy. It's like, just because you yeah, I'm just on my funny. bike. <laughs> You're like, oh, people are dying over there. Cool, I gotta get to work. Yeah, I'm like, it's probably nothing. <laughs> Turns out people are getting murdered over there, but <laughs> that's horrible. Kind of crazy. That's yeah. insane. And What's the other one. <laughs> A few days after, somebody... This is very dark. Yeah. But there was this guy who was, like, going around Toronto in a van. Yeah. Just, like, running over pedestrians. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. Did you see him? No, I never saw him, but oh. a guy I worked with saw him. Oh. And I guess they're kind of, like, linked together, whoever they were. Oh. Okay. Like, the guy at the Kensington Market and the... Oh, okay. I thought you meant the guy you worked with. killer like, guy. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Yeah, I, I actually remember this. You know that? That's really weird. Go on. Um, but, yeah, the most bizarre thing I saw in Toronto, um, no matter what street you're on, it's pretty busy. Like, there's a lot of people. Yep. Yep. So, me and my girlfriend at the time, we're walking down <laughs> the street, and we see people kind of like moving to the side like kind of like screaming and jumping over to the side yeah oh yeah i know this is going <laughs> and the closer we got the more people started jumping away yeah <laughs> and we were walking towards whatever was happening so we we're like what the fuck is going on like let's let's check this out like we don't hear gunshots like we're probably good <laughs> yeah. and gun violence in toronto is very rare yeah well at the time it was well i even still, like yeah. It's, I guess it's not that rare. Not like Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> so we're like, "What the fuck?" So all of a sudden, this guy in one of those motorized scooters. Yeah. You know, like for fat people or yep, disabled people. Yeah. Comes rolling in, just like in the middle of the sidewalk between yeah. everybody. Yeah. Just peeing in the air. <laughs> Like, his wiener's out, and he's just peeing in the air. <laughs> like, his pee like it's going all over him. It's going all over the sidewalk. <laughs> That's awesome. Did you record this? No, I should have. You should have. That's awesome. People definitely have their phones out. Oh, definitely. You can probably find it if you look it up. It's, yeah. It's Toronto. You definitely can, man. But this guy was just chilling. He was obviously, like, fucked up on something or maybe he's just, disabled or whatever. Maybe he is just retarded, but, yeah. Yeah. But he was just... That is so funny. in the air. That is fucking hilarious, man. Yeah. And you know what's funny? All these fucking stories you tell me just remind me of Yakuza. Uh, like, in Yakuza games, there's always... The sub-stories are, like, really fucked. Like, stupid shit like this happens, right? And I feel like the stories you tell me are fucking shit from that. Like, things yeah, you can only honestly, make up in fiction. people do crazy stuff. I've seen shit in the subways. Like, I don't know how you see like, this human shit. shit. I remember... <laughs> I remember the one you told me where you were fucking... When you used to bike... I don't remember the fuck you were biking, but you like you used to bike through Toronto or something like that in the dark. Yep. And you you seen yep. the homeless people, and there's like a yeah. homeless camp, and they they all started to come towards you. You're like, oh fuck! Until so you just booked the hell out of there. I remember yeah, that so one. I, I did. Like tell that's you about a, that's that, yeah. out of a fucking Yakuza game. Like I'm not even kidding. That's like the kind of sub story that you would come across in those fucking games. This kind of shit you come across, and not just that in was Toronto. One of the few times, just I in general. I was gonna, yeah, that was scary. Yeah, that does sound pretty scary though. Because uh, my girlfriend at the time. Went to school in Oakville. That's what it was. So I would bike all the way because I just moved to Toronto, so I didn't know how the oh, train worked. So you biked all the way from Toronto to Oakville. I biked all the way, which Ooh. was like three and a half hours. That's insane. Yeah, that, that's how much I wanted some puss puss some action. <laughs> yeah, Spider wanted the puss puss. Yeah, Spider wanted the puss puss. That is insane. Yeah. You did all that. What the. Yeah, so I took a little detour under one of the major highways. There was like a bridge. Ah, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, and it wasn't at night. This was during the day. Okay. And that's what makes it and worse. I, yeah, I have all my shit on me. I have my Xbox, my laptop, like a bunch of stuff in my backpack. Yeah. And I go under this underpass, and there's like a whole fucking homeless community mm -hmm. around me, like what you would see on TV, there's like barrels with fire yep. and tents. It's literally a fucking Like, there's probably a hundred of them. All the fucking shit you come around is like a Yakuza game. Go on. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if this actually happened or I was just thinking it in my mind at the time, but <laughs> I felt like they were coming towards me. Yeah. So I felt threatened, obviously. Yeah, you never know. You can never... 
I'm yeah, gonna... I didn't want to chance it. I didn't want to be yeah. like, hey, like, do you want to be friends? Like, yeah, exactly. I just wanted to get the fuck out of there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, see, because, like, so... in anime and shit, and it's not anime, but, like, apparently in Japan, the homeless are, like, super chill. Like, mm-hmm. like you can go and just hang out with them, right? But in here in Canada, you got to be fucking careful, man. The homeless are scary here. You got you got to really just... be careful here. Like, you just don't know. I just, I don't want to chance that. Yeah, exactly. Because we don't, because our culture is completely different, right? Like, I used to think, before yeah. I was very ignorant of the world, I used to think that's a homeless when people were here. We're like, then as I got older, I kind of realized, no, they're not like that, not at all. You got to be careful, man, because, yeah, yeah. Just, you don't know. You it was know. scary. Our culture is completely different, is the thing, right? And, yeah, some of the shit you come across, though, I tell you, you come across the weirdest things. But, again, I don't know if they were actually threatening or it was just, like, my natural but that's response. what i mean you don't know you got to be careful you, but in my head i was like they're gonna fucking kill you and rape you and take all your shit yeah get out of there i remember one time i was walking in hamilton along the highway there's this old trail on red hill valley i think it was and uh i remember i walked up there's like this little detour that went up to the side there i'm like okay what the hell is this and i found like an entire homeless camp there too but there's nobody there of course and i was just yeah. it, was, it was it was just weird man there's like there was just there's like buggies there and stuff Things that are clearly stolen and that. I'm like, you know what? I think I can get the fuck out of here. Cause yeah, it that was, was probably the right call. You don't know what they're doing. You don't know their intention. Like, yeah, exactly. Get the fuck out of there. Yeah, I was like, hey, fuck this. I just booked it out of there as soon as I could, right? It's like, yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> right? Because, yeah, it was, it, was, it was weird. There was a lot of shit like that I seen in Hamilton. Hamilton. I mean, Hamilton is a big city, as you know. And you don't really realize it until you move away how big that city really is. Yeah. There yeah. was uh, an army surplus store by my house that sold a variety of army stuff like uh, Judan I love that place it, yeah I actually when he came over we actually went in it I was gonna say did you bring him there <laughs> but I actually bought my girlfriend at the time pepper spray hmm. which was labeled as like dog spray yep because you can't legally sell pepper spray yeah not, you in, have Canada. To, not in Canada yeah anyways. you have to um what's it called you have, to, you have to sell it as like bear spray or dog spray, like animal yep. repellent. Yep. yep, that's right. So, yeah, I had to buy her that just because the streets at night were kind of yeah, they were a little bit sketchy. sketchy. You by yourself, they're sketchy at nighttime. Yeah, especially a young girl walking by herself, it could be a little bit sketchy. And again, it's not a dangerous place; it's just precautions. Like there was some homeless shelters on our street, mm-hmm. and there's some like I know by, what you mean. There were sometimes by like, midnight comes around, it's like a fucking zoo. Like, everybody's yeah. just released on the street. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. It's like, it just changes. It's like, all of a sudden, everyone, yeah. everyone, uh, it's like, literally, as soon as the clock hits midnight, it just fucking changes. It was really yeah. weird. It was super- It's like, working class goes into their safe home. Yep. Everybody else who doesn't have a home is just, like, released onto the streets. Yeah. Like, they, they like, again, back to Jacuzzi Games, they fucking call that red light district, right? It's like, it's like Toronto just became the red light district out of nowhere. It's so yeah. weird. It's so fucking weird how that happened. I noticed that too. It's yeah. like it's like what the fuck? Every time I was there, it's like it's just the atmosphere. You just feel it in the atmosphere. Like you're just out there, and it's yeah, just all of a sudden you're, you're just like, what the hell is going on? It felt so friendly yeah. and just awesome. And I was like, what the fuck? I feel like I'm gonna get stabbed. Like you feel like like I didn't want. I remember I walked close to you when we were walking at like mid at nighttime when that happened. It was because yeah. I was I was actually kind of scared of when I first came there. And yeah, it was weird. It was fucking weird, man. Yeah. It's something I never really thought about till you brought it up. Is the thing. Right? And it, in reality, it's not a scary place. No, it's not. But it's just that natural response to kind of, especially if you're not from there. Yeah, exactly. When you're used to it, you probably just you just get used to it and don't even question it, right? But because I'm I'm, I'm I lived in the country my whole life, so I was never used yeah. to being in the big city there. I mean, I, I was used to being in the big city, but not at nighttime, though. I should say. And just like any big city there's obviously a homeless problem yep like there's a lot of imagine going there now yeah but there was this one homeless guy who for whatever reason he was just the nicest guy like i would see him yep in random stores like sweeping like just just trying to get by yep so i would give him money every time i saw him yeah i'd give him like five bucks yep cash that's one of the cool things about cities is things like that right yeah but there's a lot of homeless people who I'd be like, okay, you're a fucking crackhead. Like, I'm not going to give you any money. Yeah, that's why you don't give them money because you never know what they're going to do. But Exactly. But you this mean... guy, he seemed to, you know, be in the right direction. Yeah, exactly. But even then, you don't really know. He's probably just doing it so that way he can get crack when, at nighttime and come out at yeah. 12 o'clock and let, it, let himself loose. 
<laughs> exactly. Yeah, he's one of them. <laughs> he's one of them. It's but, all o'clock, o'clock comes. It's like he just changes completely. He just evolves into a fucking no, something else. But this guy, this guy was a businessman. Yeah, he's a businessman. Because man. I saw him several months later. Yeah. And he was taking donations from the public with a credit card scanner. Damn, smart so guy. So he was taking handouts. Ahead and he had like time. the square, you know, the square machine. Yep, I know. At like restaurants. Yep. He had one of those, and he's like, "Hey, do you have any cash?" And if you say no, he'd be like, "Okay, do you have a card?" And then he would pull this thing out. Damn, that guy was ahead of his time. Yeah, he was. You do because I see that now with Salvation Army at the grocery store, right? But like, I only seen it like last two years, right? So like, that guy was fucking ahead of his time. This was like four or five years yeah, ago. Yeah, this guy, this guy had a plan. That dude was set, man. He's probably a millionaire now. He's probably, like, rich, yeah. has a mansion in Toronto. Honestly, he probably has a job. He just does that on the side. Yeah, he probably does, honest to God. He probably, honest to God, he probably has a fucking mansion in Toronto. And, like, he goes home, yeah. puts on a nice suit, and he's just like, yeah, he's just... And then when he goes out, he's just a homeless bum. Yeah. <laughs> like something you see on TV. <laughs> There's so many characters there. Honest to God, yeah. the shit you see. But the thing is, the shit you see, not just in Toronto, just in general, it's just like some things that I just can't believe that you see. Like, I feel like shit just attracts to you for some weird things just attract you, attract you for some reason. Yeah, I feel like I live such a boring life now. I don't <laughs> see any of that shit. Yeah, I know. You got to go back to Toronto. You don't see any of that where you live now? No, there's nothing interesting going on right now. Damn. Yeah, you always had stories. You always had fucked up stories. Even during COVID, you had you just seen weird things. I remember. Yeah, between the age of fifteen and twenty-two, <laughs> it was the weirdest years. I've just, like... just seen so many strange things. <laughs> like I said, it's just like strange things just attract to you for some reason. Because <laughs> I don't see weird yeah. shit at all. I never see weird things ever. Even when I try and find them, I don't fucking see them. Even when I'm in the well, city, I don't see them. I feel like I've put myself in certain situations that kind of. Yeah, that's true. You know. You definitely do, but like, like that. but I feel like, but I feel like just like, like that homeless camp thing or the guy pissing thing is just one of those things that you just see just because you're just one of those people that just sees them. You know what I mean? Right. But that, that didn't happen every day. Like, yeah, this I know. Is I know it didn't happen every day. My but, whole time there. But the whole, the fact you've seen it in general though, is just, you know, yeah, it was crazy. You know, cause I've been, I've been, I've been to New York. Like I said, I've been to Toronto many times. I've been fucking St. John's here many times. I never see anything like that. Never. Right? And I feel Did like we you... see anything in St. John's? No, it's hard to see. We came at the wrong time of year. Everybody's just so friendly. Yeah, exactly. You will see shit, though. You just got to come at the right time. You just got to be at the right time. Like, midnight there is scary now. It never used to be, but it is pretty scary now. You got to be really yeah. careful there. But, yeah, you just got to be at the right time in St. John's. It's not someone... It's like, you, as you saw, it's not like Toronto. It's not a huge city or anything like that. It's like it's smaller than St. Catharines, for example, right? Yeah, so like I guess in Toronto I never felt threatened because I'm a can you can I'm you know. a white guy. <laughs> yep, you, you were know. privileged. Like I wasn't a female. I wasn't. Yeah, you were just a, a white minority. Guy. Yeah, you were just a white, plain old white guy. Yeah, I remember exactly. one of my favorite things there was the fake Tim Hortons. Remember that place? Oh, coffee time. Yeah, was that what it was? Coffee time. Yeah. Okay, because I remember coffee on time. the corner of where I lived. Yeah, because. Yeah, and they had a Street time. Fighter or it was a Neo Geo arcade machine. I remember that, but it was like, yeah, it was just so weird because like I seen other coffee times and they're just like the you know just the typical uh, um, chain restaurant from back in the day. But that coffee time was just fucking not Tim Hortons, is what it was. It was so Ooh. weird, and I'd never seen that before. Actually, that reminds me of another story. Go on, yeah. So I used to live with my brother in Toronto. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you know that. Yeah, and. Me, my brother, and my roommate, we used to go rock climbing. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Like, there's a rock climbing gym. Yeah. So, we would bike there. Yeah. And I guess my phone must have fallen out of my pocket on the way. Mm -hmm. So, I on remember, the way back, I was like... I remember this. I was like, fuck. Like, I lost my phone. Yeah. Um. So, we try calling it. Nobody picks up. Mm -hmm. We keep calling it. And eventually, somebody picks up. Mm -hmm. And they're like, hello? And I'm like, hey, okay. like, you have my phone. Hello? Yeah. Can we meet somewhere? And he's he was like, Yeah, like where do you want to meet? I was like, There's a coffee time right by my house. Like, can we meet there? He's like, Yeah, I'm like right near there. I'll meet you there. Yeah. And I was like, sweet. So I talked to my brother, I explained the situation. I'm like, Hey, like, can you come with me? Just so I don't get raped. Like fucking killed here. <laughs> yep. And he was like, Yeah, sure. 
so we go to the coffee time and there's this group of kids yeah and it's the same situation as the homeless shelter like again like i don't think this is actually what happened but yeah. in my head this is how it works <laughs> yep there's this group of kids and they're all like looking at me like just looking at us because we're waiting and i like look at them and i'm like hey did you guys find a phone and they're like no and i'm like seriously like i think i called you like did i find your phone and they're like no and they started getting all hostile <laughs> so we left we call the phone again. We're like, hey, we're at the coffee time. Where are you? And then he directs us to this dark alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's not suspicious like, at all. Yeah, they're like, no, just like walk down the street a little bit and turn right. I'm like, it's fucking like midnight. Like, what? <laughs> so I was just like, nah. Like, you I never got the phone back. It. No, I was like, you know, I, I think it's just safe to. Yeah, that, that wasn't suspicious at all. You just just come to the dark alleyway. Yeah. I'm not going to meet it, you at coffee didn't time. Feel right. I'm not going to meet you at coffee time. I'll treat you a morning. <laughs> yeah. Like what the fuck? That's just yeah. But I, he he literally directed us to go down a dark alley. I remember that too. I I, I wasn't there, but I remember you telling me that. That was like yeah. It was frustrating because you didn't have a phone for a while, I remember. Yeah. You know, so I was like, you know what? It's not worth it. No, it definitely was not worth it. Yeah. That was, that was fucked. Was yeah. Too, yeah. Well, there was something else I remember that happened there. Oh, you had that fucking... What was that thing? That pet you had there? I wanted to kill that thing. Oh, the hamster. I hated that thing. I wanted to kill that fucking thing. It woke me up so many times sleeping on your couch there. Dude, oh my tell God. me about it. That's every night. We gave him chew toys. We gave him sticks to I, chew on. Because I, I, I guess they... They chew to like sh- keep up with their teeth or yep. whatever. Yep. I don't fucking know. Fuck. But it would no matter you. what we gave him, it would just chew on the bars and it would just stupid fucking, fucking thing. drive me insane. Fucking thing. I, was thinking, I hate hamsters. Yeah. I can't stand. Them. I never have one, man. Honest to God. It, it was cute, so we got it. Yeah, it exactly. turned out to be the worst thing I've ever bought in my entire life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. It's like it's cute for like yeah. five seconds, and you're like, fuck this. And actually funny story mm. um so we we didn't have a mouse problem yeah but we had mice in the house oh yeah like there's a few occasions where i saw mm-hmm. a mouse so we'd like put traps out or whatever yep um and one night i woke up and i felt something crawling on my chest yep Ooh. and this was like the middle of the night yeah oh. <clears throat> so it's like oh like i jerk up in bed and i was like quick reaction like it's a mouse like grab it and throw it yeah so i grab it and throw it and i turn on the light <laughs> and it turns out my hamster escaped <laughs> and it wanted to come and, and was see like you. crawling on me and i thought it was a mouse so i threw it against the wall <laughs> Did you could no i didn't he was fine oh he wanted to just lay with you that's all it was uh, yeah <laughs> my, <laughs> my animals do everything <laughs> It was pretty scary. I thought there was a mouse crawling on me. I don't blame you, though, to be honest. You it was just like a jerk reaction. I was just like, Oh, yeah, for sure it would be a jerk reaction. It's still yeah. funny, though. <laughs> it's pretty hey. funny. Yeah. The good thing about mice in Toronto, Yeah. if you have mice in your house, it's a blessing because you don't have rats. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that saying. Because the rats will eat the mice. Yep. So if you have mice in your house, it means you don't have rats. Which yep. is fucked up, and they will destroy your house. Rats are horrible. Oh my god. Yeah. Did you have any in, in um your old your old place in fucking Niagara there? Um, the one we oh, got the Yu-Gi-Oh card at. I don't know if we can say the town name or not, but no, I've never had any pests. Ever. No, because that town except mice. That town there was horrible for rats because they tore down all the yeah. fucking factories. I don't know if you knew this, but they tore down all the factories, and yeah, because they didn't pesticide the fucking factories, the might the rats didn't have anywhere to go, so they went to people's houses. Yeah, and there was a especially huge, in the winter. Oh yeah, and there was a huge rat problem. My my mom's friend lives there, and she still has rat problems to this day. It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. And rats yeah, are I've... a horrible thing to have. It's like. Ratatouille is a great movie, but fuck me, they are horrible to have. <laughs> yeah, I've never had rats. Thank yeah, God. Yeah, I don't even. Think, I don't know if I ever even seen one because they're huge. Like they're actually those scary. animals are fucked up. Yeah, like they're actually scary to see. Is the thing they're not like mice. Where it's like, oh, cute little mouse, fuck you, and you kill it. I mean, I always kill yeah. them because you know it's the fucking thing destroy your house yeah. still. But like rats, you do not want to see those things because they're actually so like they're just. You see one, like you said, if you see one, you're fucked pretty much. 
Yeah. So the restaurant I worked at in Toronto, yep. it had a rat problem. It was like oh man, I forgot climbing through that. the walls. Yep. I heard, did I tell you about this? Yeah, we're going. I, I want to hear it again. Uh, so there was a rat problem. So we had, we used to use live traps. Yeah. So like you would catch the, like sticky traps, so you'd catch them and release them. Yep. But it just nothing was working. Yep. So <clears throat> we started using traps that actually kill the rats. Yep. So there was this hydraulic clamp that when it's triggered it'll like kill the um the rat mm-hmm. or whatever falls in it um so we set a few of those out and then the next morning i came into work and there's just blood all over the floor <laughs> like it, it looked like somebody got stabbed like there was so much fucking blood and i was like what the hell happened like, and I go, I go to look. This is how fucked up rats are. Yep. I go and look at the trap. It's just a skeleton of a rat. <laughs> so we caught a rat, yep. and the other rats ate it. Like, they ate it. <laughs> what the fuck? That's fucked up, man. Yeah. It's actually kind of fucked up. It's crazy. Yeah. I, I tell them about the time. They're fucking big in Toronto. Talk about the time. Oh yeah, they'd be huge there. But talk about the fucking time where you had to work in the flood in Toronto. Oh, uh, yeah. This, this was great. I remember this. Okay, this restaurant is shut down, so it can't be canceled anymore. Oh but, rip! Yeah, this is the worst working condition I've ever worked in. Yeah. The uh, sub pump or like the sewage pipe flooded. Mm-hmm. In the because we had a basement where we have the walk-in, which keeps all of our food. Yep. And all the Toronto flooded, just so we uh, are clear here. It was a big yeah. It wasn't gap. just us. Yeah, it was it like a huge pipe burst. Yeah, yeah. All whole city was all downtown was flooded. It was insane. Yeah. So all this shit water. It was like three feet of shit water. <clears throat> like you literally went downstairs and smelt. Oh, that's human awful. shit. Oh my god. And we like. And none of the, like, our dishwasher wasn't working. Yep. None of our um, sinks were working. Like, we had no water flow. That's fucked. And we stayed open all night. Yeah. That's fucked. Well, the fuck, the basement smelled like shit. Like, and you the had people to in the dining engine? room probably went, well, eventually it drained. Okay. But, yeah, we had to, like, shop back all of it. And then, oh, yeah. That's brutal. I felt bad staying open. Yeah, why would they stay open for that? Like, it could was you so smell it? In, could you smell it in the dining room? I could smell it in the kitchen. That's. Disgusting. I don't think you could smell it from the dining room. That's but... disgusting, though. You could smell it from the kitchen. Yeah, like, it like, was bad. Seriously, that's actually disgusting. I'm not gonna lie. And the rat problem too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that's, that's kind of, Toronto. Yeah, that's Toronto. Like, I guess so. my favorite pizza joint. I've seen pigeons fly in there <laughs> and like chill out with the cooks <laughs> basically <laughs> it's just kind of the norm there yeah that's true it's a big city thing i suppose eh? but uh yeah that was we should have closed down for sure <laughs> you don't say you had all sorts of stories about that fucking place <laughs> yeah that place was crazy that place was fucked man Working in a kitchen. How do you work there? I still work in a kitchen. Don't go out to eat. <laughs> it's so gross. <laughs> I don't know yeah. how to get away with it with some of the stories I hear from you. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. That's I, I, what our immune systems are for. I guess so. but I don't know, but yeah. The pigeons hanging out at the pizza place. That's funny. <laughs> You fucking you, love that place. We you, got pizza there. You lived off that fucking place. Every, I love that place. Every they time we would play pizza. Custom Zombies, you'd just be like, what, man, I'm going to get pizza. Every, because it was five bucks for two time. slices, which was basically a quarter of a pizza. Yeah, because they're huge slices. And a Coke for five bucks. Yeah, and you loved the pizza too, best of all. It was so good. Yeah. yeah I didn't think it was that good, but I get where you're coming from, though. Oh, I don't know. That's. I want to go back there just to eat that pizza. <laughs> if it's still open, is it still open? Yeah, it's probably in quarantine right now. 
Oh my god, that was good times. That was good times. I'm getting fucking yeah. tired. All right, I'm getting tired, Chief. So I, I get to go to bed soon. Oh my god. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, sorry, I kind of ranted. Oh, back. I don't care. I'm glad you did. When not? When do we get to talk like this, eh? It's true. Let me uh, just cancel the recording there.